Good morning, y'all. Happy Monday morning. We are here this morning just doing a little bit of lettering. Y'all might know that we uh, we say all the time in the lettering club and when we're teaching art that we like to show, give you the tools to add a little bit of peace and play into your every day. And that is what happens when you just make the time just to sit down and do some art. Hey, y'all, I see lots of y'all already on here. Hey, Dallin. Um, remember, I can't see you like right here if you don't give StreamYard permission. Um, oops, sorry, I, I got that. I can't see who's saying good morning. So I can still say good morning to you, but I might not know who you are if you don't give StreamYard um, permission. So um, this morning we are going to be lettering. This is, I'm going to be lettering and I'm going to be showing you a little bit of, um, of our workshop that's coming up that it, I think that everybody can do. Like it is such an easy, we have, it's a, a punch is a wow factor, but it's really easy to, I'll show you the picture if you've not seen it, we've been advertising it, but I will show it to you real quick and then we'll talk about it a little bit at the end. So this is the picture and I'm going to put it up under this camera too, so you can see the 3D effect. Isn't it so awesome? Like it's such a fun picture and I'm going to show you at the end of this how we've made it so easy that no matter if you are a beginner, you can do it honestly. We've made it easy enough to where like your kids could do it with you too. We're providing printables for you so that you can do it and you can do it multiple times with those printables. You can do it a little bit um, fancier or a little bit more elementary just based on uh, based on anything. So I'll show you that in a little bit. But first, let's do a little bit of morning lettering. Now, if you don't have this yet, after we go live, I'll post the link or if anybody wants to post the link, you can. This is something we just have been giving away for free since um, since January. This is, we had a lot of people submit their word of the year. And so we've gone in, this is another one that we've done before, and we have made traceables from a few of those words. So we've got 25 different words and we made them very light. I know sometimes when we say the word traceable, you some people have thought they were supposed to be really dark so that you could put something over it and trace it. But that's not what we mean. If you can think of a better word that describes it better, feel free to let us know um, because it, people are confused. It's supposed to be light so you can trace right on top of this and work that muscle memory. So this morning, we're going to do a couple of those. Um, let's just go through here. And again, this is something you can print off for free. We'll do breathe. I like breathe. I like breathe and courage. We'll do both of those. And then if we've got time, we'll do more. This is what's so great about this um, this little packet is that you've got, uh, you've got a lot that you can just kind of put some music on and do one, do two, do three. And you don't have to, um, because they're already grayed out like this, you're not having to um, think too terribly hard. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're not having to think about um, the letter formation and the layout and all of that kind of stuff. So I'm just going to grab some markers. Now, I'm going to show you what markers these are, but y'all, it doesn't matter. It does not matter um, what markers you use. This just happens to be the markers that we sent in our happy mail to our lettering club members this month. So I've got these. They're the Ecoline brush pen markers. And I think, let's see, do I want to do a color? I think I'll keep, I think I'll do all the pastels. I don't really know if black even came with this. I've been using so many different colors on my desk here. Um, did black come with these? It doesn't look like it goes, but maybe it did. I don't know. I'll have to double check. <laughs> but here I've got the pastel colors and with it being springy, I'm just going to roll with it. So let's go for the the um the purple and with these traceables here we go watch this you are going to just simply whoops trace i got got a little caught right there different markers that made a little bit darker because this has a lot of um kind of a watercolory marker so when i got kind of hung up i think there was something up under my page that kind of hung up my flow it made it a little bit darker. Not all markers are going to do that, though. So you can get one on there. Oh, thank you, Miss Marcy. I see a happy belated birthday. Thank you, Marcy. I hope you're feeling better. I know that you, y'all have been sick with uh, with Corona. So I would love to hear y'all. Let me know how y'all are doing. I've been thinking about y'all. All right. So we've got the C on there. Um, let's see. We've got the O. Somebody says, I think the black was in another set that we received in our Happy Mail. I think you're right. And I think I just have them all on my table. So I've been using them all. <laughs> now, what I want you to notice is even though I am tracing this, I am still tracing it 
the same way we teach it one stroke at a time. So when, you know, inside the learning club, we do this all the time. We go, we teach you the basics, which is one stroke at a time. You see that I did the C and then I picked my pen up. I did the O and then I picked my pen up. There's one stroke and another. It took two strokes to do that A. That is one thing that you really, when you are moving from being used to cursive writing, when you never pick your pen up, into kind of this faux calligraphy. Um, that is what you have to get used to. Good morning. I'm seeing so many of y'all on here. Morning, 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 Regina. Morning, Sherry. Glad that everybody is here. Morning, Stacy. Um, we got lots of folks in the house. I'm glad y'all are joining us. And there we go. So you see, we just did one stroke at a time. Great question. So Denise says, why do you pick up your pen? So you pick up your pen because there are some um, transitions that are not going to look right if you had your pen down the whole time. Um, so like if I never were to pick it up, a really good example of this is an E. Okay. So sometimes let me find something that I can teach you really quick on since you said this. Okay, so sometimes uh, if you're doing like, hey, if you don't pick your pen up, that E is going straight up and down. And like if you're doing hello, then you've got the E. Whoops, I did that wrong. Sorry. Did it. If you're doing hello and you never pick that pen up, that E looks like an L. It just looks like a lower K L. But let me let me finish that. Sorry. Um, okay, so. If you pick it up, on the other hand, then you are able for that E not to go straight up, but to go going out this way. Does that make sense? So these letters are going to form a little bit better and like a better uh, flow if you pick it up. OK, and because we also have some bounce going on, sometimes we've got fun tails that we want to do this with, whereas in traditional um, cursive writing, you would probably have to come up and go straight into the E. But we want those tails to do something else fun. So hopefully that hopefully that helps um, answer that question. Uh, let's see. Now I can't find it. Take it off. There we go. Okay. All right. So we've got the word courage on here. Now you could just stop or you could have fun kind of decorating all around it. Y'all know I'm going to be decorating it just a little bit. So let's get my pink and I'm just going to do some fun flowers. That's the easiest something, something to quickly do. And you don't have to do all this, but it's just, I love to doodle. I love to letter and doodle and I love to add color to my page. So I'm going to put those on there. I might just do several strokes. I could use crayons here if I wanted to, to kind of get it completely covered in. I'm just kind of going quick, quick and messy. You don't have to be this messy with it. You can color it in completely if you want to. My paper that I printed this on though is copy paper. So for this particular marker, it's almost too wet for me to go over this too much. Um, if it was a regular marker, it would be fine. But if I colored everything in solid with this particular marker, with as much kind of liquid feel that it has, it's kind of start to get the paper kind of knotty, if you know what I mean. Okay, so we're going to quickly put this on and then we're going to go do one more. Again, if you don't have these traceables, um, we can get those for you. <clears throat> we'll post a link in here a little bit later after we get off live. Or if anybody has the link, feel free to post it. And we will, um, but then it's a free download. This is fun, looking fun. Let me get some of this. I hope you can see that I'm not taking myself too seriously here. This is paper, okay? It is a piece of paper that I can print out a bazillion times. So if I don't like this in the end, guess what? I still enjoyed the process. I still enjoyed sitting down, maybe turning some music on and just doodling. And I really am not somebody who thinks that the final product is always the end game. So I think the process of... Um, of creating and enjoying it and having that piece in your play. Like to me, that is the goal. That is the goal of what we're doing. Now, in effect, you're going to get some good stuff because the more you do anything, the better you get. But I don't ever want you to be discouraged if you don't love something that you're doing. I mean, I know it's kind of natural, but just know 
there's a lot of times I don't love what I do. And now you know what I do? I just put it aside and I keep rolling. All right, so there is one fun little something something with those traceables. I'm gonna do one more, one, one more. So there is my courage one. Now I'll do breathe. I got a sweatshirt that we got from um, Framed, Sarah, Sarah Williams at Framed. And it says, just breathe. And I wear that thing all the time. I wear it all the time. Okay. So I'm going to use my blue this time. And you are going to see one more time. Just, um, just small little strokes. Okay. Oh, yay. Somebody says it's their spring break. Yay. We don't have our spring break for a couple more weeks here in, um, here in Alabama. Uh, let's see, what pens are you using? These are the Ecoline brush pens. They're not a have to. Um, they're just what we sent our lettering club members this month. So I have them on hand. We have done this same thing with Tombow pens. You can do it with, uh, I mean, really with crayons. You can use anything because you're just going to, you know, just kind of have fun uh, coming over this. So watch again as I do one stroke at a time. Okay. Now this... That's kind of a connected stroke, the B and the R. You are so welcome. <laughs> Trisha said, thanks for the new pins. You're welcome. It's so fun. We love surprising y'all um, with y'all's happy mail. All Everybody should have it so far. Okay, so y'all see I did an E and then for one stroke. Then I did part of an A and then the tail. Stroke. Those of you, there's a lot of you um, tuning in this morning that are um, in the lettering club. And y'all know, y'all got lots of these in your library, okay? Y'all get like a lot of traceables every single uh, month in your library. If you can't find those, go to your library, look at whatever letter. No, 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 sorry. Look at, yeah, whatever letter traceables. And there's a whole bunch of them. All right. Stroke. And stroke. All right. <clears throat> Rosalind says, how do you join the club? We will have openings on March 26th. So be sure if you want to make sure that you get information about all of our stuff, um, like our club openings, our, um, our, uh, I'm trying to think like we have a fun workshop coming up, any of that stuff. If you go to text Casey right here, textcasey.com, just put Hey, hey, or whatever you want to do, do it from your phone. Uh, you will be notified when we go live. You'll be notified when we have, uh, you know, fun events. But you'll also be notified when our club is open. So if you're nervous about missing out on that, it's going to be March 26th. But we have our little fun, our fun uh, three-day workshop that's kind of a sneak peek into the club. And that's coming up on March 23rd. I'll put that link in here after we're live too. All these, uh, all these things are, um, <clears throat> I can't do it while I'm live. All right. So there is that. Uh, somebody's also asking what's the lettering club price. It is $45 a month. That's for multiple lessons throughout the month. Um, plus, you know, a library full of different little bonuses. We teach live and you get the happy mail plus the shipping all for $45. So it's a pretty good deal. All right. So I'm now going to go with my three my three colors here, and I'm going to do um, paisleys on this one. All right, so paisleys are a little bit harder to do, um, but they're fun once you get rolling with it. So here we go. I'm going to do these kind of different shapes first, just to kind of make sure I've got some space. All right, so we'll start like that. Then I will go into this. Do some little shapes on the inside. And then I'm going to do like curve, 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 curve all around it. Okay, now I'm going to add more color, but right now I'm just kind of trying to, uh, trying to fill the space. Um, let's see. Terry, I see your question. We'll come back and answer it in just a second. Let me just kind of fill this in really quickly. So I might even do some kind of weird looking flowers like that. So like I say, they're weird. They're kind of just, they kind of go with the paisley look. So it's a, it's a circle and we are going to kind of do like a heart-ish shape. 
This is just filler, okay? Now you could do more little paisleys, but sometimes that's a little bit hard. I don't love, I probably shouldn't have done both of those right. That I probably should have angled them, but. Okay, and then maybe like some little dots. Okay, so I kind of laid on the main shape. Let me answer a few questions that I'm seeing pop up. If you're doing this with us, again, you don't have to be on, you can be on like your notepad at work if you want to be, um, but we're going to add some more color to this. This is just kind of getting us started. So we've got one question that says, silly question, when making your flowers, do you always use the same number of petals? Mine are uneven. I never count. So I don't even know. Um, I don't think so. <laughs> I'm looking at them. I'm like, I don't think it's always the same number. It does look like it's easy for me to do like one, two, three, four, five. But I know that there are times when I don't do that. So I, I don't count. I just kind of get the flow and go with it. Um, let's see. Terry says, I've joined previous. Watched a few videos, <clears throat> but haven't done anything. Best to just join in or go back to the beginning projects. Great question, Terry. <clears throat> I say join in. Now, when you, if you've not gone through the boot camp, Go through the boot camp. It's only four lessons. We have we have really condensed that boot camp into four about 30-minute lessons. Watch that and then jump in on any project you want. So if you joined a little bit back, that means you have a whole library of stuff. It stays in your library as long as you're a member. You just pick and choose. All of our projects build off of that boot camp. But it's not like each project gets harder and harder and harder and harder. You don't have to do all the ones before it. It, it, it all is, it's peace and play. So you just pick which one that you want and um and jump in and then you can go back to the other ones whenever you want to okay so that's my tip on that um let's see oh yay so charlotte says that the heart hint is a game changer yes anytime you can relate something to a shape you already know it's like oh your brain is so happy because <laughs> instead of thinking of it as a uh as a a pedal, like a strange pedal, if you relate it to something you already know, a heart, it's like, oh my gosh, that's so much easier. <laughs> so that is a, that's a tip that we teach our kids when we teach them to like, look at the lines or the shape that you already know the names of and do that, uh, do that first. Yes. Great. Um, uh, great tip. Stacy um, is talking up to Terry and saying, jump in and reach out to existing members. That is what's so great about our club. You reach out to existing members if you're confused about something or type it in and you're going to have a whole lot of people um, that get to uh, get to help you. Um, all right. So here is this. I'm going to come back in. I'll grab my my pink. If you're a member, if you're if, if I see I see Anna also saying the same thing that you've been a member for a while and you're kind of you want to you haven't been doing it as much as you want to, you want to jump back in, join us tonight at seven. Okay. Lettering club members, join us tonight at seven. Bring your, um, bring your happy mail, the stuff you got in your happy mail, some sort of sturdy paper, uh, pencil and a pen. We sent you an email this morning that kind of told you a little bit about what to bring. So that's a great starting point. If you're like, I hadn't done a lot, join us tonight at seven and jump right in. All right. Seven central. So here I am doing just some little, little bits of color. So just kind of curves inside of there, lines this way. I just didn't want to add more color. I'm not really adding any more shape. I'm just accenting the shape that we already have. I'll even come out here a little bit. So this is a great way to fill the space. If you feel like you've got like a lot of white space all right up in here, I can just do some curves. It's just following the shape of the purple that I already have. Um, but it is a good little bit of filler. I went around that, that little curve was just going around this flower shape. I mean, it's kind of crazy and a little bit messy, but I think it's fun. So if I'm going to leave that. I could add the green, but I think, I don't know. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. I'm not going to add the green or should I add the green? So many decisions. Okay. So I did, I added the green here and I do like it, the green on this one. 
there's something not quite right about this. So I'll add the green. I'll see if that helps it. I like it when I look at it straight here. And when I look at it on the screen, it looks like a lot of stuff happening there. All right. So let's see. This may be what we need to kind of ground it a bit. Okay, this kind of looks like a hot mess, but it's it was fun to do. So, <laughs> so I'm, I'm happy with it. Uh, and we practice our lettering. We practice our doodles. We have only been on here for 20-ish minutes, and we've had some peace and play. So, um, again, you know I like to show you simple ways to add peace and play into your everyday. These traceables are a great way to get started. Let me show you really quick. I showed y'all this. Um, this is our little challenge coming up. Lettering Club members, you don't pay anything extra for it. Um, everybody else is just $15. And let me show you what you get. Let me put it under this camera again because it is 3D and it is cool. And it's almost fail proof. Okay. And this is why you are going to get when you sign up, you're going to get these things to print. You are going to get a supply list that you can print out and you've got what you need right here. Now it will tell you some things, but you can also be flexible. For example, it will have, let's see, it's going to have this board. I got this board at Hobby Lobby, but you know what? I'm doing another one this morning. I'm playing with another one. Let me show you that I got from, um, it's not finished yet. I'm just showing you other examples that I got from, here this is, from Target. So I got this one from Target. It's a different size. Um, so it does not have to be that same thing, but you're going to get your supply list. You are going to get your lettering traceable. You can print out as many as you want and practice, practice, practice on this. This shows you, you can kind of get the feel of it. We'll walk you through it and we're going to show you where to add those downstrokes at so that you've got something to look at. We've drawn the flowers for you. We're going to show you how to also draw some on some cardstock. But for really quick wins, you can print out two or three of these and have a ton. And y'all, you can use watercolor. If you do this on cardstock, you can use watercolor. You can use crayons. You can use markers. You can use whatever you've got. I think personally, this is something really fun that you could do by yourself. Or you can do with a teenager or even a, a five-year-old could color these, you know. And then we give you these to cut out. So you have got the, the meat of your, a lot of what you're doing right here. And we're going to teach you how to kind of collage it, how to get that 3D effect, a little bit of this lettering. So um, you're going to get a lot that makes this very, uh, very easy and just fun for you. Um, so be sure to print that out. You might be wondering why are there all these different sizes? Because you might have a different size board. I know that not everybody is going to find the exact same board at Hobby Lobby that I got. Um, so you might have a bigger one or a smaller one. So we gave you different size jars to fill your format. So um, hope that hope that helps. So um, all of the, these two links I'm going to give you. Um, if the, the easiest thing to do is to get on our text list because then you just don't miss things. OK, so remember, um, you get on the text list. You just go to textcasey.com. You can just put, hey, hey, <laughs> and then you're on there. But also, as soon as we're done, I'm going to do two links. I'm going to give one link to our traceables and one link to our Blooms and Blessings workshop coming up on March 23rd. So um, that is it for today. Let's see. Are these recorded and saved on your website? Um, do you mean, if you're talking about, what do you mean? <laughs> if you mean the Blooms and Blessings class, yes, that is saved. It is on our website. It'll be in a Facebook group where we teach it. Um, and then you will have access to it after that as well on our website. Yes. Yeah, so you'll have, uh, have it saved. So, um, so, all right, y'all, that is it for today. Um, for now, anyway, I hope y'all have a good, uh, a good morning. Grab some of those doodles, do a little bit of, uh, a little bit of peace and play, um, letter the words that you need to tell yourself. Okay. If you need to just breathe, let's let her breathe. If you need some courage on something you're facing, letter it. Okay. Letter it, say it to your mind, <laughs> get it in you until you feel it's truth. Um, and just, you know, have that peace and play. All right, y'all see ya. See ya. <laughs>